Hello, my name is Krishna from Best Engineering Project and today in this video, you will learn how to pause and resume Arduino program using switch. So before proceeding, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon in order to get notification of various other upcoming project posted in this channel. Sometimes we have to design a system which responds only upon the user interaction. That is when user press the switch, the program must be resumed, else the program have to wait for user input. Like designing a timer for game, when both the team is ready, they must have to press the switch, after that only timer will start. Now let's see the circuit diagram. Here in this video, I'm not going to show you how to interface this 16 to 2 LCD with Arduino because this LCD is used here for demo purpose and previously we had already made video on how to interface this LCD 16 to 2 LCD with Arduino. So if you have any confusion while wiring this LCD, please do watch previous video. The link of previous video is posted in description section. Here in this video, I'm using this button switch which have two terminal. Now, two switch with pull down resistor is connected to Arduino Nano analog pin A0 and A1 as shown in circuit diagram. These two pull down resistor R of 10 kilo ohm is used here to overcome the transient response of switch. Now, these switch are configured in high level trigger because one end of both switch is connected to plus 5 volt power supply as shown in circuit diagram. Now, let's see the programming parts. Now let's see the programming part. For that, download the code from the link given in the description section and open the code in your own Arduino IDE. In this project, I am using one 16 to 2 LCD display. For that, I have to include one library for this 16 to 2 LCD. That is, in first line, you can see there has include liquidcrystal.h is used to define the library for liquid crystal display. See there, two button is defined at pin A0 and A1. That is two button switches contribute to pin A1 and A0. Line number 3 and 4 is used to define the pin for LCD. Setup function started there. We begin the LCD and also assign whether the button is used for or the pin is used for input or output. See here in setup function, we had defined these two button switch as input. After setup file, as you can see in code, loop function start. There, at first, it call check button one function. In check button one function, I am running one infinity while loop while one. In that loop, I am checking the status of button one by using syntax digital read button one. Initially, when button is not pressed, the LCD show the message press first button to continue. We press button one. The value for digital check press become high and it enter in if function. Here it show the message first button pressed and wait for 2 seconds and return to main loop function. When the condition is matched, that is when the button is pressed, it return back to the loop function and check button 1 there is another function check button 2. So it call another function called check button 2 function. Check button 2 function is nothing but the replica of check button 1 function. It also check the condition of button 2. When we press button 2, it return back to the void loop function by showing the message program is resumed and wait for 5 seconds. And again, loop function start and waiting for button 1 to be pressed. Now in this way, we can use this code in any game where there is two team and the timer for the game will start only when both the team become ready. Now let's see the demo. This program wait for first button to press. This LCD show the message press first button to continue. When I press this first button, then it show the message first button is pressed. And wait for second button to press. When I press the second button, then it show the message second button pressed. After that program is resumed. And the loop start again and wait for first button to press.